Wow, We Crash, the miniseries, was absolutely brilliant. Such an awesome look at how WeWork truly exploded and had such a massive growth trajectory and so many business lessons that you can take from this series and absolutely brilliantly portrayed by a suite of awesome actors. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day and in this video we are going to be exploring We Crashed which is an eight-part mini-series from Apple TV Plus and it is such a fascinating look on the rise and the fall of the WeWorks company and is based on the We Crash podcast which focuses on its eccentric co-founder Adam Newman who was so slick, very very charismatic very very persuasive and was able to just achieve such excellent results and he was such an inspiring leader who was really charming and really really slick and it is just such a fascinating and eye-opening business class taught over these eight episodes and like I said just so fascinating and so mind-blowing especially exploring what the corporate world is like from such a savage point of view and how you can really use your words to actually achieve brilliance and super success and the series does such a good job in exploring what you should do and also what you shouldn't do as well and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this TV series review. <laughs> So the storyline across the eight episodes explores the 10 year run while Adam Newman was the chief executive officer of WeWork and it explores all of the highs and the lows this brand experienced over this time and it is just so incredible how this character was able to take it from a startup to a true multi-billion dollar successful company but just all of the lessons that you can learn for example fast expansion growth expansion, global expansion, how you really should keep an eye on your budgets, how you shouldn't have reckless spending. But alongside that, a lot of incredible things were taking place during this TV series and during the run of WeWorks. And it really explores all of those incredible moments along with all of the chaos that is being caused at the same time. Now, from a positive point of view, I feel like this is such an interesting business lesson, especially on persuasion and persuasive skills and negotiation and influencing people and how you can immediately turn somebody's opinion completely opposite. Somebody who really didn't want to invest in someone is able to then be convinced to invest in someone. And I feel like Adam Newman just has such a brilliant mind on his head. And the way in which he's able to do this is just so captivating and just really, really impressive. I feel like he is such a visionary and you really can see why he was able to lead so many people so successfully. It also really shows what you need to be able to be at the top and all of the balance of skills that you need as well and how you really do need a supportive team in order to achieve your vision. So I feel like it's a really interesting masterclass on business and it also is a lot of lesson learning that you can take as well. For example, like I said, all of the crazy reckless spending, which we can see is happening to Netflix right now as well. So like I said, a lot of lessons that you can take from the WeWork experience that you can adapt and definitely take with you in your own business career as well. So captivating, every single episode was really, really well produced in terms of having a specific storyline narrative that it was conveying and communicating whilst also telling this bigger storyline as well. And I feel like all of the characters are able to really, really connect with them and all of the betrayal that takes place in the corporate world as well. A lot of people that you think you can trust are then going to turn on you. A lot of people that you are putting your faith in unfortunately are going to stab you in the back. I just feel like it was such an important look at jealousy and all of the craziness that happens in the business world. However, from a negative point of view, I guess they could have explored a little bit more about the motivations and the backstory of the Adam Newman character previously to what you did see in the start of this series. And I love the episode where they went to a bit of a summer retreat and I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of the team building stuff that happened at this brand and company. But that being said, I have to say this series is so well produced from a storyline perspective and every single episode just got better and better. And I feel like they did a really good job actually in terms of the first episode ending in a way that the eighth episode is then beginning really really well structured and I just have to say from a storyline point of view it was really really successful. So from a cast and characters point of view We Crash definitely does feel like an ensemble piece but definitely does have Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway 
at the forefront. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, we have got Jared Leto, who was so good as Adam Newman. A truly captivating performance as this enigmatic and maverick type character who is able to immediately build such excellent connections with people and make them feel like a million dollars and then persuade and convince them to then part ways with these millions of dollars. Absolutely incredible. And I just feel like Jared Leto literally gave the performance of his life. I feel like he was immediately capturing this character. And you're instantly also believing his portrayal as this character. And you're really with this character, you're really rooting for him. You're really in awe and really impressed by him as well. And like I said, Jared Leto just gave a truly award-winning performance and was able to immediately light up a room, a room which feels really, really boring, really, really stuffy and really, really corporate. As soon as Adam Newman enters into it, is just able to light it, is able to use his power, as he says as well, and is just able to create a true environment of happiness and really driving people for success and was so determined for success for himself. And like I said, I wish they would have explored this a little bit more in terms of his backstory, but what you do see in the first episode is just how determined this guy is to make himself a real success and was able to drive this really, really well for the business. And like I said, a true visionary and a brilliant example of excellent leadership and really able to get a lot of people to then follow his leadership and his vision really, really well. On that point, he was a true master communicator. Like I said, if anyone's feeling really low, he's able to get their feelings to be really, really high and get their emotions really, really high and then use that to his advantage and able to convince them to do anything. Like I said, they also explore the reverse side of this and how dangerous these qualities can be and how also things can get really out of hand with all of his reckless lifestyle and his overspending and not being sustainable in his growth plans. So obviously, you know, this guy isn't perfect, but I have to say, Jared Leto just plays him so fantastically. Next up, we have Anne Hathaway, who was playing the Rebecca Newman character. And similarly, she gives the performance of her life as well. So many sequences where she is able to flip between so many different emotional states and Anne Hathaway just plays the Rebecca character so well. I love how they explore the romance right in the beginning of this series of how these two characters met and how slowly their love was growing, but also the challenges of being with someone so vibrant and the innate subliminal jealousy that she is feeling towards this character and how she is trying to find her own path. She explores quite a lot of different avenues. I love the rivalry that she was having with America Ferreira as well in this series in terms of a bit of a conflict happening between her and the chief branding officer position the way in which this character is so down to earth as well how she loves to be really really spiritual is also all about manifesting about yoga about centering yourself and relaxing and really did show what a true power couple both Adam and Rebecca were and she was really really strong in terms of really standing by the Adam character and really supporting him in their joint visions and I just feel like both of these lead actors were just so brilliant. Like I said, I absolutely love all the wider characters as well. For example, Kyle Marvin brilliantly playing the Miguel character, who was the co-founder, but was a lot more introverted and a lot more quieter and a little bit more awkward as well. I love how Kyle Marvin was really showing all of the concern that he's having against all of Adam's recklessness. They balanced each other out so brilliantly. I loved all of the bankers, the way in which they think completely differently to how Adam does and the conflict that then is then coming from all of this, all of the investors and how this is also getting a little bit out of control with Adam's excessive growth plans, all of the employees and all of the mini storylines that these characters had and also the difference in terms of what it's like from an employee point of view and then just how far and out of reach the owners are and how all of the jealousy is then going to bubble up because of this and of course all of the media perspectives as well and how they are creating their own narratives and the importance of really strong PR as well. I just feel like from a cast and characters point of view, We Crash was just absolutely incredible. So I absolutely love the visuals of We Crash. You can really feel that it's a high quality, high production values being experienced in this world. And you are able to be immediately immersed into this world, especially from the transformation of a bit of a startup right at the beginning of this series to then becoming a truly successful billion dollar company. And you really do feel like you're in the offices of WeWork. I just feel like they capture the environment so brilliantly. I love the episode where you're at this summer festival, like I mentioned earlier on. You kind of want to be at this festival as well. I feel like all of the work aspects are really, really cool. All of the parties are really, really great. All of the out of control excessive spending is absolutely brilliant. 
all of the international aspects in terms of traveling all over the world and to go to all of these banks, investors, other brands to try and get all of the money, all of the bankers, which is really, really great as well. All of the intrusiveness from the media and just all of the lifestyle of the rich and famous and the super wealthy. I just feel like we're done really, really well. And you can just really feel what all of the different characters are experiencing. Firstly, not only because of the brilliant portrayals, but all of the set pieces that they were creating just really brought that to life. So from a visuals point of view, the cinematography of this series was A class. <laughs> So We Crashed is a truly phenomenal TV series based on the real life events of what took place in the rise and the fall of the WeWorks company brand, but it's not the only TV series that really does focus on the brilliant corporate sector. So other shows, if you really are interested in watching other things that are similar to We Crashed, I would recommend watching The Dropout, Inventing Annis, Suspicion, The Morning Show, Severance, The Shrink Next Door, Succession, Billions, and Industry. So, so many other TV series that really do focus on the corporate sector and are all really, really enjoyable as well. <laughs> So overall, I have to say, We Crashed was just absolutely excellent, super, super fascinating, brilliantly acted, excellent production values, and there were just so many lessons that you can take away from this series. Every single episode was just super, super enjoyable, really, really bingeable, and every single time they had loads of different excellent storylines taking place across the 10-year period while Adam Neiman was at the helm of the WeWork brand and I just feel like it put such an interesting lens on what is really like behind the scenes and all of the chaos that can take place when you are really aggressive with your growth plans and all of the things that you should be really really mindful of as well like I said it's not only applicable for massive companies there are lessons that you can take away for even smaller companies as well and so for all of those reasons I have to give We Crash the massive 7.5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of this series so please let me know in the comment section below Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.